Hey, it's Jessie from Squeegee Ink, and today we're going to give you the rundown of printing with white ink. We know picking a white ink for your studio can be a bit overwhelming, but we found that the Amex range really covers loads of bases. On a day-to-day -day basis, we normally use water-based or plastisol. So this water-based is the Amex Extra White water-based ink. And that's perfect if you've got a home setup or something like that where you don't have access to those heaters. And then we most commonly use this, which is the Amex Flash White ink. So that one is brilliant if you've got like a flash and a conveyor dryer and it's probably what we use most of all. And we've got loads of other inks that we're gonna do a rundown and show you how you'd use them in your studio. So let's start with that water-based ink from Amex, that's the extra white. I'm gonna put these all through a 110 mesh. Um, you'll most commonly find water-based inks in the smaller studios where they don't have access to those flash dryers and conveyor dryers because you can technically do it with a hairdryer and a, um, a heat press. This is just on cottons, which it's great for, and maybe some poly cottons. Um, let's just pull that through. So this is effectively the underbase for that. So if you don't have a flash dryer and that type of thing, you can technically use a hair dryer because it's forced hot air. So that first hit is going to block out lots of this black and then you're going to overlay it with the second hit. It's pretty, really vibrant. So um, I really like this ink. It's just really easy to use. Um, you can also just wash it up with um, a sponge and water, which I'll show you. You probably air dry this, and then you could put it on the heat press to evaporate all that moisture. Um, I'm just going to set it aside. Yeah, let's go ahead and clean this up. Get it back in its tub. These silicone spatulas are brilliant. I obviously like to tape up as well. Speed that up. So you can literally just do this with water and um, just try not to leave it too long. You could also use this, um, this white as an underbase for other colours. Um, to make them really pop on dark garments, but really water-based is best for using on those um, lighter, lighter cottons. Just get a rag. It looks really decent. It's cleaned up a treat. Um, and say if like you left that ink to dry in that mesh for a long time, there is this really good product that's just come out, and it is this one. So it's the water-based ink remover from Franma, and that just really dislodges all that pigment and um, yeah, just gets the screen back to new. This is that Amex Extra White water-based ink. So again, it's really, really easy to use on 110 T mesh or 43. Um, it's never gonna be as vivid as the Plastisol counterpart, but we're really happy with it and I'd definitely recommend that. Let's move on to that Plastisol ink. In the studio day to day, we tend to go for Plastisol ink. So this one is Amex Flash White Plastisol. And um, it just means that you can print on those polyesters, those cottons, really quick, nice and vibrant. So let's have a go. So, um, I can... 
load that one. And then um, with this, what I can do is do a flash instead. So my platens move around, so I'm just gonna push this over to the flash. So normally I wouldn't have to run around, I could just be printing the next one. But that's basically gonna just um, make it dry to touch and it's gonna work as that underface. And then check out how vivid this becomes, like, even on the glass. It's really, really vibrant. Um, I think it's only going to take those two hits. So this is definitely the go-to and most popular ink in most studios. This is going to run through the um, conveyor dryer now to fully cure at 165 degrees for a, a minute. So let me show you how we clean up that plus sole quickly. If it's on press, we would use the Easy Solve 701 or we might just scrape up most of it and put it in the dip tank. I'm just gonna show you the manual way quickly. So just get all the excess off with that spatula again. You can be quite generous with the lint-free rag and the 701. You'd probably actually take all the tapes off, but I want to hit loads of different samples here. So I'm pretty happy with that. This is what that white plaster ink looks like 48 hours on. And uh, it's as you can see, it's still bright and white. Um, it's it's nice and soft to the touch and we use that every day in our studio. So every so often you might need to print on a polyester, a nylon or you know loads of different things. So here are a few of our favourite speciality inks that you can use. This one is the Amex Low Temperature Plus Sol Ink. So this becomes really, really useful when you're printing on polyesters, especially blacks and reds, because of dye migration and the dyes leaching from the fabrics and getting into your inks and changing their colour. So this one, you can technically cure it, fully cure it at 150 degrees. Now that is, that's really massive. So let me just go ahead and show you how that works. So you can hit it exactly the same as the other plaster. And we've got it on this polyester garment here. So the good thing about it is that you can flash it for a lot less time. So it doesn't get up to that really hot temperature that the normal plasters can take. So that's ready for its second hit if you wanted to do that. Or then you could just put a nice, like, vibrant colour on top. So you really need this plaster for, like, these polyester type garments. They're also going to have a little bit more stretch. But it just means that you can have your dryer running at 150 degrees as opposed to at 165. So you should be saving energy in your shop. I'm just going to run that through the dryer. Now let me show you how I clean that up. It's with exactly the same chemical. It's that Easy Solve 701 and a rag. Awesome, there we go. This is how the Amex Low Temp 
turned out, which is it's supposed to be a dandelion base, so it's not supposed to be that super vivid white. Um, you can technically cure it up to 135 degrees, which is going to help you out when you're printing onto those plasols so that you don't get any dye migration. Um, there's also this really good additive to add on the coloured inks on top, which you can mix in so that you can cure them at that lower temperature. That might just be really useful for your shop. In this one, we're using the Amex Flex White. So this is perfect for garments that have loads of stretch and that ink really needs to like stretch with it so it doesn't crack. So it's such a peculiar like fabric, it's so so smooth. I'm going to pop this under the flash again just to like, you know, get it touch dry and then I'm going to put another layer on. You just definitely wouldn't be able to do this with water-based or standard plus cells. This is literally on some leggings, so um, hopefully when we've got that ink nice and cured, I might even do one more hit on it just to get it really super vibrant, but that ink should flex with the garment. So I'm just going to flash it one more time. put this through the dryer again and uh, yeah we'll be able to see if it flexes with the material but that's that's a really cool useful ink. Again the clean up is exactly the same with the Easy 701 so I'll just show you how we do that as well. This is the Amex Flex White, 48 hours after printing. So it is supposed to be used as an underbase or a highlight white, and that's probably why it isn't as vibrant as some of the other inks. However, that's not really what it's supposed to be for. So it's supposed to be around this flexing there on the lycra, so it really does stretch with the garment and doesn't crack. So that can be used on um, elastane products like lycra and spandex. This one is that Amex White Printalon ink. So what that's going to be used for is the printing on nylons. So they're a notoriously difficult product um, and it's neither plaster or water-based, so it's a solvent-based. I've already mixed some up with um, a bit of the retarder. That's just going to help it a little, be a bit looser and um, yeah, let's have a go. Also, something to note is that this is a higher mesh because it's a more loose, it's a looser ink like that. And also, nylon isn't very absorbent, so you don't really want to put too much on anyway. I'm going to give it two hits because you don't want to put it under the flash because nylons can melt. So it's like quite a striking white. This is going to be brilliant for like jackets and umbrellas and things. Um, if it was a jacket, you might even need a hole down to keep it in place so it doesn't shift when printing. This is going to air dry, so there's no need to put it under the dryer. If you did want to kind of like activate that curing a little bit, you can get it to 50 to 60 degrees to, to, to kick that off. But that's going to be bang on. That's really, really nice. So I'm just going to run through how you'd do the cleanup on that printer on, because it's not with the 701 or the water-based ink remover. Just get the majority back into the tub. It is much more liquidy, so it is a bit tricky. I'm just going to take most of that tape off because that should remove most of the work. So 
solvent based screen wash. So that's a lot more difficult to get off, but it does bond to that nylon really nicely. This is what the print alone looks like 48 hours after, and I'm really surprised at how vivid and white that is, because you don't technically print this, then do a flash or anything. So it's really, really vibrant. I'd happily do that on some jackets or umbrella or those kind of really difficult fabrics. This one is pretty cool as well. It's called the Amex Text Print Vintage White. This is a water-based ink and what this is going to do is it's kind of going to look like it's aged when, when it's cured. So it will go down very similar to the other one, but it's that end result that we're going for, for people who want that vintage, like, weathered look. I'm going to do that, that hair dry just in case some of you guys don't have a um, I think I'm going to do one more hit here, just to kind of get as much ink down as possible. This isn't a high solids white though, so it's not supposed to be super vibrant. But let's um, put that through the dryer and let's look at it. Let's see what it looks like with this vintage effect. So because that's water-based ink, you can just clean out with water really easy. Okay, so this has just come out of the dryer. So what you're supposed to do now is you're supposed to crack it, hand crack it like this. See that? I'll do the whole thing and then show you up close. But then it's got that kind of like vintage, kind of worn in effect. It's just a cool little extra if, if someone wants like a old fashioned rockety or something like that. Just to recap, most of your jobs are going to be on those cottons, so the Plastol Link is really handy for that. This one from Amex, which is the Amex Flash White Extra Plastol Link. But if you're a smaller studio and you don't have those dryers, the water-based one is going to suit you just great. I really hope you like this video. We'd love to hear some feedback and get some likes and comments. Um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button because it really helps. Thanks guys.